Hey guys, so the intro video you just saw was shot with this bad boy. We have Shen drone stick, Cinelifter FPV drone that's designed to carry cinema cameras. We filmed with Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and it can also carry Red Komodo, Zcam and so on. And I'm here with Alesh. Alesh, you want to introduce yourself and tell us what are we gonna talk about today? Hi guys, so I'm the technician guy behind Tom Drones. I'm also an FPV pilot, we do projects together and today we, we're gonna talk about um, how we get this thing to fly. Yeah, because it, it, it's not so, so easy. No. Uh, there's some tuning, testing and yeah, we're gonna tell you how, how we got it to fly. But before we dive into the review of Shen Drone Stick, I want to show you this bad boy, as you saw, some of the shots in the intro video were done with 360 camera and it was done with One X2. And sponsor of today's video is Insta360 and they have a huge sale happening right now. All the info is below the video. Feel free to check it out, get some nice discounts. And the way I like to use Insta360 camera is for situations where I'm doing a certain activity and this is the way how I can film myself. Or if I'm going on a, an activity, family trip, whatever, with my wife, for example, and my friend last time on the boat. As you, as you can see, the shots we got were pretty insane. Okay, let's now jump into the review. So yeah, you can buy a pre-built Cinelifter, but it's gonna be pretty expensive because the person that builds it also needs to tune it and this takes some time and effort and a lot of knowledge. Tuning is not uh, simple. I, I know maybe some the basics, he's quite an expert, he's gonna give you some nice tips after. So what we did is we built it ourselves. Alesh helped a lot. Thank you, Alesh. The first flight was actually just a short one. It was a line of sight flight, so we could see how this thing behaves in the air. So line of sight means goggles were off. We yeah. literally watched the drone, saw if there's any shaking happening with the motors, anything unusual. Okay, so Alesh successfully tested line of sight flying and now it's time to put the goggles on and go fly. I'm gonna admit I'm, I'm kind of nervous. We did our successful maiden flight. How did it, did it go? So yeah, for the maiden flight we went on a remote place with a lots of free space um, and we flew above the grass so in case we crash the damage won't be severe. And there was a lot, a lot of vibrations happening meaning we really had to put a lot of effort in tuning. So Arash, do you want to give us some general information for someone who has absolutely no idea about tuning? What does it actually happen? What does it mean to tune the quad? Now, we are not gonna go into details because this could be a super, super, super long uh, tutorial, but I'm gonna leave some uh, links to a really good channel that has a lot of detailed uh, tutorials about tuning uh, below the video. Uh, but yeah, Alesh, gen general information about what, what is tuning? What are you doing? So the goal of tuning is that your quad flies without any vibrations and that it tracks your stick inputs as fast as possible without any shaking happening. Every drone has three PID loops that control the drone um, for pitch, roll and yaw axis and tuning is actually setting those parameters. But this video is unfortunately not about tuning, so if you want to dive in you can check the UAV Tech website. But you know the funny story was actually that the computer was showing that there are no vibrations and that the quad is flying fine but we still had a ton of vibrations in our goggles and it was because of the mount because it sticks forward so much but even later with fixing the tune that was minimized but still there is some occasional vibrations but after 10 flights, I think we did 10 test flights, right? Something, Something like right. that. We decided to mount a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera on it and when we checked the footage it was battery smooth practically uh, so that this is how we knew that the tune is okay <sighs> maiden flight successfully completed it was full of adrenaline uh, we still need to fix the tune there are still some slight vibrations but overall <sighs> really really good Alash tell us so you're used to flying five inch freestyle quads how did you feel when <laughs> on the maiden flight when you first flew with thick Okay, so this was quite an experience. I was so nervous, I was shaking a lot because if you crash, this thing is not a cheap one to repair. But the moment when it took off, it was such a relief um, and I was so proud on both of us. And it does behave in the air much differently than a freestyle five inch because that, that, that thing is super agile. But with this one, I kind of feel that it flies like a truck 
I know how, how to say, you know, if you're trying to drift with a truck, because in the corners it does slide out, so you need to use much more throttle, but overall it's responsive almost as a five inch quad and you can, I mean, you, could you do freestyle with it? Yes, you could, but you, you really feel the weight of this thing. It's a big one. So we, we took a few days to test it out. So this was not tuned in one day. I think it took us four to five days. So yeah, it was about a week, I think. We got the tune down, so then it was time to test it out with a real subject. So we went chasing ATV uh, in a query and it was so uh, epic, right? The location was mind-blowing and we really enjoyed chasing the ATVs. It was amazing, but Tom, you did crash this thing, right? You want to tell us about it? Well, you mentioned that in the video, did you? But it was totally my mistake. Luckily, everything was fine, no damage. It just lost focus. Uh, don't know why. Yeah, no excuses. I crashed the Cine lifter. Shame on me. Regarding the footage we got out of this combo, so Shendron stick and Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera, I'm super satisfied. Uh, so as I don't know if I already mentioned, the footage is not stabilized. I actually like it. I like this little bit of shaky raw vibe in some occasions when there is like a lot of action happening. I think a little bit of shakiness in the footage just brings that extra spice and charisma and I really, really like it. Anyway, Alesh, I hope uh, you survived your maiden YouTube video. How do you feel? <laughs> oh, you can believe me, talking into camera is not easy. I'm sweating. No, no, guys, really, it really, <laughs> it really isn't. Like, making YouTube videos is not easy. And I, I know two, three years ago when I tried to talk into the camera, it took me literally the whole day to get a few minutes of usable headshots. So, yeah, like I like everything, I guess you just have to learn. But guys, if you enjoyed having Alesh in the video, hit the <laughs> thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below, uh, tell us that you want to see Alesh in the, in the next video to tell us something about tuning, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next video. And yeah, let's talk in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you, guys.